This boat is owned by a gentleman in Florida, and when he approached me about this build, first thing he said was, I want to make a flats-styled boat, and I was super excited, and flats boats just in general look really good, and then I asked him, what kind of boat do you have? And when he told me that it was a 14-foot deep V smoker craft, I got a little nervous. Are you sure you want to do that to this hole tight? Like, this isn't traditionally what you think of when you think of a flats boat. Turns out this boat has some family history behind it, so changing the hole was not going to be an option so then once i started thinking about it i was more on board with this whole project because i figured it was a good opportunity to do something different and cool on a platform that you normally wouldn't do it in i designed a sketch customer signed off on it thought everything was awesome we ordered the lids had them powder coated white ordered the framing got everything in and at the same time we're moving into our new shop and opening up TB Nation Outdoor Southeast. So this is gonna be the first boat going out from there. Once I had all the parts in hand, we brought the boat over and started working on it. And that's when I got a phone call. The owner called me and he said, man, we gotta put a seat up front. My wife has to have a seat. I'm like, okay, well, you know, we could move that seat post back closer to the cockpit. That way, all you have to do is take the seat post itself out and then just install the seat down into the mount and then she can put her feet in the cockpit. He's like, no, 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 she gotta be facing forward. I'm like, okay, well, there goes your live wall. He goes, no, 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 I need to keep my live wall. And I'm like, hold on, let me call my business partners and tell them that we're not gonna have a first build to do. <laughs> Just kidding, but, but no, seriously, I thought that's where this was going. Then I remembered Fumin designed a jump seat that would fit and match all of our ways of framing. So it would be an easy application to use with the way that we frame out these tiny boats. And that's exactly what we did. So you can find these jump seats at tvnation.net. There's a couple different versions that you can get. These are actually uh, PFDs. So you can rip them off and throw them out there, which is a genius idea. So we went ahead and we ordered one of these. Then we sent it to Illinois to have the hinge put on and this other lid by TV Nation Outdoors. And he also welded in a quarter inch plate for the seat post to go into. So there's a lot going on just right here, but at the same time, the only way to make this jump seat work facing forward would be to have a secondary cockpit. There's storage all the way underneath this seat, and there's also a secondary drain in there, because this is obviously not gonna be a dry compartment anymore. All the water that gets down in there is gonna be able to run down into the subfloor and out to the transom. We have two LED lights in here. There's one right there and one on this other side. But yeah, I just really wanted to share this idea with you guys and really show you these jump seats because I think this is a great thing to put into tiny boats. It utilizes, you know, the best of both worlds and maximizing all that small space that you have because ideally you would find these in the rear deck facing forward, kind of have them flipped up where you're gonna sit in them, which makes your back deck a lot smaller. But then when your co-angler wants to fish, you just fold that thing down and he's got tons of room to walk and stuff back there. These are 25 inches wide, so, you know, if you're trying to run two, you need to make sure you have at least 50 inches of width on the top of your deck. It's extremely comfortable. You would think that this is too small, but it's really not. Actually, I'll go ahead and jump up in here and show you guys how much room there actually is. I mean, I have all kinds of room for activities in here. You know, I could imagine running down the lake. You know, if you're hitting some rough water and you start getting a little scared, just, if this was in my boat, I would just be fishing from this seat. You have this cool storage area in here now, which makes Mary Poppins' purse look tiny. So if it was me, I'd be putting rods in here, pulling them out, and boat ramp, and making people think what the heck is going on here. But overall, I'm extremely, extremely happy with the way that this came out. Fold this whole thing down. Your latch still works on it you have a complete front deck to fish from now. Well, let me know what you guys think about this jump seat. Do you think we did it justice by putting it up front? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it should have been in the back? I would love to know your opinions on that. And thank you for all the support on the channel lately. Go down to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Also, check out the other channel, TB Nation Outdoors, for a full and complete walkthrough on this build. I greatly appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.